idea today was uh, we were going to do a, a Nike problem solving, a troubleshooting seminar. And that depended upon you coming up with individual techniques, or later we can talk about concepts, that you're having difficulty So what's the, what are you, what's the problem? I feel like I'm muscling it. I feel like you're muscling Okay, would you do it again slow motion? Yeah, definitely. First of all, let's get to reception. You're, you're basically just turning your body and sliding in, right? Yep. Okay, just do that part first. Yep. All right, so you don't have any problem with reception. No, sir. Okay, could you do it again and switch around? Yep. And pull the shoes come around. Okay, now, this is when you begin to muscle. Right? Yes, sir. Okay, so just do the rest of the technique. All right, good. Here's what I want you to do this time. And we'll practice this together. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Freeze. Now, all I want you to do is bend your knees, turn your body toward me slightly, bend your knees again. <laughs> How did that work? That was like 90%. Uh, okay, so punch me, please. How much effort did that take? Okay, it's all based on principle. And the principle is called the wave. Let's just talk about basic Tenkan for two minutes. clock. Basic Tenkan. Two concepts of Tenkan. One is, I end up over here. One is he ends up like this, right? Now, if you can do both, that's great. But if you were to punch and I did this, I would still be doing ten times. And if I mean, and if he does this, he's doing the result of my ten times, even though I didn't do ten. You follow me? All right. So the two punches. All right. This is this is basic. There are other. The specifics depend on a number of things, like the pressure of his arm, his height, is he moving, etc. All right, well, let's go with this. He's got a tight grip. Yeah? Yes, sir. You sure? Yes, sir. That's your grip? Ah, that's more like it. <laughs> Be the man here. Okay, I'm going to take my fingertips. I'm going to scratch my nose, huh? I'm going to take my fingertips and go like this. Now, I don't try to pull him. All I try to do is take my elbow and put it in the middle of his forearm. To do that, it's easier if I turn this heel out. Okay? Right? Now it's easier to move this foot. I'm back pressure and weight into this foot. I just combined the last two techniques. Yes, sir. All right, so this is a modified Ikyo or Uriotoso Odorio Uriosa. It means arm press or arm drop. Okay. Uh, I'm going to have to change the technique slightly. Yes, sir. All right, let me go in against him. So you punch him. And I'm going to see this. Now, when I take this over, part of the problem is the wrist. That is, if he's, he's vertical now, I'd like to get him to be horizontal. Now, if I take this over, I should use my sh uh, shoulder and chest to roll him. Now, here's the problem. When you do this, you're always going to feel muscle because you're using your weight against his stability. Okay? Put your, instead of using this, put your hand here and drop your arms like they're useless and turn your hips so that the drop doesn't happen here but happens here. Okay. Hip bro. Um, guys, I'm right here. Okay. And sometimes I feel like I am pulling too much, or I'm having to force the shoulder. Yeah, this is sort of like a wrestling wizard, um, and it's uh, 
like a, what we call a hipless hip throw. Not really a hip throw, but it's kind of. All right, so show me where you feel pain. Right. Right here. Oh, I'm going to fix this like that. Okay. Puff. It's fixed. How do you get Go slow. Stop. As you put your left heel down, now you say we're always. As you put it down, you shift away. No, 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 you need to put it down. I said, as you put it down, make your left hand touch your left foot. Oh, that was easy. Wasn't it easy? Uh, yes. See?